of Joel Collins, still leading here on City Lake Speedway, the 96 of Gorka into the pink area. We stay under green flag conditions. First as well as cars they see down the back straightaway that they will have to contend with in this 30 lap A feature. The 24W of Chris Warp started on the outside of number 11 in the 22nd starting spot. And then the number 10 car, the 10B of Rich Bishop. Side by side, we got a battle for the race lead at Cedar Lake Speedway. Dan Nasolski and the 21X of Joe Collins duking it out down the back stretch. Collins on the top side, Nasolski on the bottom, just a little bit slightly lower. They duke it out for the $5,000 to win here across the front straightaway. Coming up to the halfway point in tonight's back of tools by John Olsen, first on eight feature. And now Dan Nasolski right underneath him has it by a half a curling, but the 21X of Joe Collins takes it right back around the outside. Good battles here at Cedar Lake Speedway. Battle for the race lead. 21X of Joel Collins has it by half a car link. Under bottom is Dan Nosalski's 22. He has it by half a car link now as they go down the back straightaway. Holy cow, what a race for the lead here at Cedar Lake Speedway. A little bit of smoke coming from the 11A of Jordan Hankemeyer's number 11. Running in the fourth spot, the 22T of Terrence Spacek in fifth, the 17 of Mike Lewis. That battle for the top spot does not seem to quite end as that 22 machine and Dan Nosalski are working really well, but the 21X of Joel Collins good on the top side of the speedway as well, as they begin to see some of the slower traffic right in front of them. First car they'll have to contend with is the 24W of Chris Hork, and then the 10B of Rich Bishop. Joel Collins still has it. Last time by, it was .358 seconds over that number 22 of Dan Nosalski, as we have good battles again in the back of the pack, falling back to Tucker Quinn, number 11, and Ron Maynard, number 55. Top three are right there, especially those two. Nasolski and the 21X of Joel Collins still racing down the back straightaway. They have not yet to reach the lap traffic. They are just about to start digging into it. That is Chris Warp 24W that he will have to contend with. Rich Bishop is next on deck, and that is the 56 of Jack Gullickson that they will have to contend with down the back straightaway. This time by 20 laps down and 10 laps to go in the $5,000 to win shootout tonight at Cedar Lake. 22 of Nasalski getting closer once again, and lap traffic is all in front of the 21X of Joel Collins, and Nasolski tries to take a peek to the inside. Down the back straightaway, Collins tries to duck underneath and trying to get that 24 a lap down in turns three and four. He's getting closer, trying to catch up. The 22 and Nasolski right there, though. He works the bottom, there's traction down there, but the number 21 X of Collins tries to go down the block. He blocks successfully down the back straightaway for the moment. Collins on the bottom, Nasolski down there as well as Collins put his first victim a lap down. That's the 24 of Wolf there. Nine laps to go, eight laps now as they come across the front straightaway. Collins, now two, one lap car separated between second and third place. That's now the 11 a of Jordan Hankemeyer tries to slide up underneath. He does put that car a lap down. The Solsky all over your 21X of Joel Collins. The Solsky on the bottom side once again, getting closer to your race leader. Collins down the back straightaway. Car getting into the pit area. That is SpaceX 22T. We stay under green flag conditions. Side by side, you got a new race leader on lap number 24 of this 30 lap bay feature. Three wide down the back straightaway. Collins on the outside. Nosolski on the bottom. He just split the number 10 machine. Holy cow. The 56 machine of Chad Gullickson right in front of your two race leaders. Next slowest car on the speedway they'll have to contend with is the number 24 Emma Chuck Metzger as they go down the back straightaway. What a battle in the $5,000 to win shootout. Four laps to go this time by at Cedar Lake Speedway and what a Jim Dandy we're in for because that battle does not seem to quite end. They are right there still using their same lines they've been using for the last few laps. Here comes the Solsky once again in turns three and four. Three wide with the lap car on the top side of the speedway. Joel Collins now puts himself by two car lengths in front of the number 22 of Dan Nosolski. Nosolski in second, running in third, 11 a and Jordan Hankemeyer in the fourth spot, the 17 of Mike Lewis in fifth, the 207 of Jesse Maneski, dumping a, a caution flag. Caution. Oh, 11 of Tess Lonesome from the front row, and then you got the 22 of Nosolski and Hankemeyer right by nine of green flag waving once again. 
Hegemeyer on the bottom side of the speedway. He slides up in front, unsuccessful. The 21 of Joel Collins still has the race lead at Cedar Lake Speedway. Works on the top side, on the bottom. It's Dan Nasalski's car, white flag waving one more trip around the Cedar Lake Speedway. One more slide job opportunity. Is it there? It is so close, but not enough. Joel Collins has it down the back straightaway. Final corner here in this one. They are side by side across the front straightaway. But who has it? It is Joel Collins. Unbelievable action tonight at Cedar Lake.